Hi guys. Uh, been a while, but uh, we're going to have a go at a Carrie Stevens type streamer, and this is a Carrie's special. So I'm going to take my tie and thread, and I'm going to go the length of the the body with it. Stop just shy of the point of the hook here. Varnish my thread. Come back up. And varnish and wax the thread. So wax it more. It takes a lot of turns to get up these big shanks. possibly can is it, it would take hundreds of turns if you were to go fully touching. Sometimes what I'll also do with these types of things is uh, to just wrap the thread and then take the wax and just <coughs> shank with it. Pull off any lumps that happen to form. So the body we're going to use a uh, tinsel silver flat. Uh, this is a vintage metal one. It's going to take off quite a bit because it's going to take a lot of turns to get down this. I'm going to tie that in at the front. Not being overly worried about uh, how neat that is because I'll probably take those turns off. So I find it's easier to wrap with the hook upside down. So I'll just give it a bit of a pull to get it started. And these shanks are also, with the length of them, they tend to bend and move about as you're. Wrapping and that can take a little bit of getting used to. So down, down, down. So what I'm doing is I'm going the whole way down to create the underbody with the silver tinsel and then I'm going to come back up with it. Uh, some people will just start at the rear and come up but you have to be a whole lot more particular if you're going to do that and I think also the two levels if the thread level is uh, smooth enough to start off with uh, sort of helps to level it out even more and also there'll be even if you do have a slight gap it won't show through if you have the first level silver as well Coming down here now to the end, what I'm actually going to do is to go off the end of it, but only for a couple of turns or so to get me down to where I should be level roughly with that point, and then I will stop and come back the other way. Now, this will be the most tedious, I suppose, part 
of the whole time. If you're using metal tinsels, what I find is that you can feel for the uh, tinsel sliding off the previous wrap. If you understand as I lap over it and then it slides forward, you'll feel it going over the edge. And that's a way of making sure that the turns are pretty much touching. Again, that takes uh, practice. And Nobody getting used to. So again at this end there's more movement in the shank and you just maybe have to slow down and take your time a little bit more. Turn that up. Pretty happy with that. So what I'm gonna do is take these turns here. Off. Wrap forward another little bit. And then tie it off. I'm actually going to fold it back on itself just for security. All this will be underneath the uh, head array. Trim that. So now we'll have a look at the tinsel. Looks good. So the belly on this one is uh, white bucktail. Uh, now you'll find that the bucktail at the point of a bucktail is straighter and finer. For this year, so take a bunch of it and uh, you can't put it in a hair stacker. What I like to do is sort of just pull fibers out until I get a, a level bunch, and I'm going to put that on underneath and slightly past the bend. Hold it in place, a loose wrap onto it, and then a tight. Because if you really pull it tight towards the back, it will flare out on you. Trim that. Off. Come back with a couple of looser straps just to get it to the back of the return eye, and then I'll put a few tighter ones on in front. And you can see that'll now sit nice and flush underneath. And next, we're going to put on uh, some peacock hurl. So, if we take sort of six strands or so, what I'll do is I'm looking for some that are fairly. Heavy, if you know what I mean, quite uh, substantial. Take three off each side. Line up the tips. Set these other ones upside it. Take that out roughly to the same length as my belly, hold it in position and tie on the flat portions of them. Tie in at the front, trim that off, hold them down and then wrap back over it. That should sit nicely on top of ours. So next we're going to support the wing with uh, a little bunch of fibers of the same color as the uh, hackles that we begin with. So that being pink, so I'm going to take, I've ripped off a bunch of 
hackle fibers from either side of this larger hackle. Take that bunch. I'm gonna set it on top there. And that should just give us something to support the wing. Some people will even put in a little dab of varnish or something. There. So a lot of people make their wings up. Uh, as you may have seen in Carrie Stevens sort of style flies. By varnishing them together I tend not to do that. So I wonder if I've taken two pink hackles. One from either side of a cape and I'm going to take them and measure them out. I'm going to strip off this underneath part here. Strip off the top. Once I'm happy with the uh, length of them, I'm going to get one either side of our little bunch there. Make sure the tips are close to each other. side of my hurl. I also tend not to tie them on the sides as I like to see the body as much as possible. So I pretty much tie them in on top. Well that does present issues in itself when for and the fly. Pull back and down, take it back in. That should create like a tent for me. Okay, so the next portion of this wing is uh, Golden Badger. It's the same length. Um, I'm using a bit of artistic license here in that I'm using ones that are black for about half of their, their length. I'm going to measure them out until we are same length roughly as the pinks. Hold that on the side. Yes. And then I'll do the same on this side. Strip off some of those fibers till I'm happy. Thread now. I'm 
Make some effort at starting the head shape at this stage. Sure. Now we need sides. For this, we're using red golden pheasant. Again, I've sort of matched two feathers, one from each side of the fly. So I'm just going to measure them up that they're the same. Strip the same amount of each feather and then set my left and my right down. I want to look for a little straightish. golden pheasant topping for underneath here. Yeah. It's a fairly flat one. I don't like the ones with a lot of curve in them. Turn the fly over. Now you could have put this in at the same time as you tied in your belly but it'll probably tend to get displaced by tying in the other elements as you go. So I wait till now. Once it's tied in, what you can do is just fold it back on itself like that and then let it settle onto the belly. And then we'll add on the two golden pheasant for cheek. Let's one. Flatten the stem here as it wants to twist itself. Match it on the other side. position and tie down forwards. And then a little bit beyond the front of the head this I'm trying to taper it the whole time as I'm tying it in. Trim off those lines. To finish this one off we just need to get uh, a couple of jungle hawk feathers. So, I'm going to tie that in so it's not quite the length of that uh, golden pheasant plate. Nearly, not quite. Hold it on the side, tie it in at the front there, and then wrap. over it and hopefully it will sit roughly in the middle of that. 
and then the same for this side. Measure them up across the top for that they're even. Hold it on the side. Up down that is all with the feather and fluff tied on. up shred I'm going to create a bit of head shape now some people like the very long heads it's never really been my preference on it so I go a certain distance forward Just to hold it in place. Trim that off, and I'm swapping now to a red thread, and I'm going to put that red band in the middle of it. Essentially, play is now tight. I'm going to varnish that up and it'll take several coats of clear varnish to get us a nice head finish. I'm just going to let that one dry in. And once it's dried in, then I'll take my uh, scissors and I'll get really tight up in on this thread and cut it off. Of a few little preenings of angles. But that is our carry special. Carry Stephen style streamer. So, uh, for those of you that are new to us, uh, thanks for watching. It's been a, a, probably a lot more protracted video than usual, but then it's a, it's a more awkward play. Um, so, if you like what you see, like and subscribe, tell your friends, bring them along, uh, and until next time, uh, tight lines. Thanks for watching.